My name is Sam Townend KC. I'm the chair of the Bar for 2024 under Silk at Keating Chambers. I'm going to talk on the topic of experts, independence and duty. It was only in the 18th century that expert evidence started to be admitted routinely on matters of opinion in the courts. And from them until the late 20th century as a ma matter of routine, persons who gave expert evidence were people practicing their expertise, professionals at the top of their fields, who gave evidence as experts as a peripheral adjunct to their ordinary work. Independence from the interests of the client or instructing solicitors was palpable and manifest. Challenges, however, developed with the emergence of the professional expert witness, and a high point of concern was reached in two decisions of the Technology and Construction Court given just two days apart, Dana and Freudenberg, a decision of Mrs Justice Joanna Smith, and Beatty, Prasid, Norse and Canham, a decision of the then Mr Justice Fraser, now Lord Justice Fraser, who said there is a worrying trend generally which seems to be developing in terms of failures by experts generally in litigation complying with their duties. Uh, my talk examines this tension between an expert primary duty to the court to help the court in objectively determining technical and other expert matters and an expert's loyalty to the party that instructs it and pays it. My thesis is that uh, while there are no excuses for misleading or expressly partisan evidence, there are contributing factors as to why this may be. And I will develop these during my talk. The first is the development of the professional expert witness. As I've said, the challenge to the precept of no financial dependency on the litigation. Secondly, the complexity and profusion of information and disclosure available in modern construction and commercial cases. Thirdly, the bringing forward and expansion of the role of experts over time in civil cases in England and Wales, encouraging a closeness to, to a party. Fourthly, a degree of confusion as to what is permitted procedurally in the English courts. And fifthly, Privilege in litigation experts generated documents, which could be said to encourage partial behaviours. I look forward to seeing you in November.